Hi guys, I've been searching for a great search and filter plugin for some time now. I have used many search and filter plugin like the Croco Block and others. Some plugins are great but some are not. But finally I think I have found the perfect search and filter plugin for me. Please keep in mind this tutorial is not affiliated by any means. So this is just my opinion. The plugin that I think is perfect for search and filter it is called search and filter pro. It has a free version but I will use the pro version because this pro version has all the features we need. So it's fairly cheap as you can see the developer version is only $75. So let me show you how we can use it. And the good thing is this search and filter plugin works perfectly with WordPress along with WooCommerce, easy digital download and Elementor as well. So that's a bonus for us. So let me show you how we can use this. So if we download and install the plugin, we will see a menu called search and filter. So in here you can create as many search and filter as you want. So here is an example I have created. As you can see, we have some WooCommerce product in here and I am using the Ocean WP theme. And on the left hand panel, all this filter I have created by myself with this plugin. As you can see, this plugin also have a search field as well. So that is very handy. So let me just search a product. As you can see, it also supports Ajax search. So that is a bonus point for us. And we can filter almost anything. So like for example, the category. The size and as you can see in here, how many products are available is also showing the quantity of our particular product. For example, for blue, we have four product as you can see. And we can also add the range slider and other thing as well. Here is an, another example. As you can see, I have created a property listing page or site. And you can see we have some details in here, the type of our property, the measurement or area of our property how many rooms we have and where the property was built or developed. And in the left panel, as you can see, I have added some filter. First of all, the search, then we can also add short. As you can see, we can short by room number. We can make it random or we can short by price as well. So we have the number of rooms and the type of the property, the flat size and the price. Okay. So let's say, uh, let me search for the flat uh, around $2,000. So as you can see, we have only two property in this price range. So let's search for the property that has only four rooms. As you can see, it has four rooms. That's perfect. It also supports load more, as you can see. It is automatically loading additional product so that is very handy as well so in this example i will show you how we can create this woocommerce filter easily so let's just create this so in the wizard panel we have this woocommerce sidebar for this ocean wp let me just remove this previous filter and if we refresh as you can see this is the default one from this theme so we will replace this with our new one let's create a new filter form so click add new search form and in here we let's rename it to commerce to and first of all under general tab we have to select the search post type so in our case that will be products so this one so we will search the products and results per page how many products will show in one page so for example as you can see we have six product is showing in here we can set it in here how many product we want to show so let's set it to nine great auto submit form this means so if, if you type anything in here or if you just select anything in here the search will be automatically performed so let's check this one and let's go to this display re results page this will be our impo most important tab so in here display res result method if you use woocommerce so let's choose woocommerce shop if you use easy digital download we have to use easy digital download page so in my case will it will be woocommerce shop so let's choose this one 
we won't use any template options and we will use the ajax search results to so check everything in here we have to determine the container of our product so in our case let's inspect our products and as you can see our container name is products so under this container we have all of our products so we have to choose this one so let's put in here products perfect we can set the pagination type so how the pagination will work so this is the pagination you can determine how it it will work so if for our pagination this is page dash number you can also use infinity scroll and for the infinity scroll container we have to choose the container name so in our case it will be products as well so let's save perfect as you can see we have saved it and now we have to create our form so how many options or how many filter we want so we have to create our form in here as you can see we have some field available for our case first of all we will use the search so drag and drop it in here so this will be our search you can add a heading and a placeholder text as well so let's save this and let's go to our widget section refresh and you can see on the widget panel we have an option called search and filter form so let's add it to our woocommerce sidebar and in here choose our form in our case it will be e-commerce 2 let's save and let's refresh our product page as you can see we have the search form so let's search any product to check if everything is working so let's make it uh, album as you can see it is working perfectly great so let's add another or more options in our form so let's say we want to add product categories for product categories we have to choose this taxonomy let's drag it in here and the taxonomy we have to choose the product categories from here choose product categories and we have some bunch of options available like input type drop down checks box radio multi select in our case let's che choose checkbox so we want to show this as a checks checkbox and we also have some display count if you want to show the number of products available you can hide the empty terms and you can also include the children and hierarchical that's great you can also add heading so we don't want anything so let's save let's refresh as you can see our categories are now showing let's check any categories to check if everything was working as you can see it's working perfectly great so let's add our product size as product size is a variation so we need to check this variation post type as well WooCommerce use variation post types for variation so let's choose the variation and let's update and let's add a taxonomy so product size will be under taxonomy and from here we have to choose product size same goes for this product color as you can see we have also an option of product color so in our case let's choose product size make it checkbox maybe and let's update let's refresh as you can see our product size is now showing so how we can add the price range type of thing this one so that's very easy as well so for the price range we have to choose this post meta so the price will be post meta in here and it will be range sliders we also have range number drop down radio etc so in our case it will be range slider and for the start meta key we have to choose price as you can see all of our custom fields are meta box are showing in here you can choose anything so in our case it, it will be price so let's go to price and you can choose this minimum value and maximum value we want to populate this automatically so let's check this auto detect and maximum to auto detect perfect so let's save this refresh as you can see our price range is showing so this is how we can create any filter using this filter pro 
lastly let me show you how we can create this filter in elementor so that will be our use case so if we go to this website searchandfilter.com and go to this documentation as you can see it has a good documentation how we can use this so th this form supports third party like WooCommerce, CC Digital Download, WPML, Polylang, everything. So in our case, we will use it on Elementor Pro. So let's click this Elementor Pro. So as you can see, this is our basic setup tutorial in here. So let's add a new page, page new. Let's make it uh, maybe Elementor full width. Okay, this is our new page. Let's add a section with the left column, left sidebar. So in the right hand side, I will use our post. So it will, be, it can be any post type. So you can use your default post type or any other thing. In my case, I will use our property. So go to the query and for the post type, let's choose property. And I have created a custom skin for this. So let's choose this custom skin from here as you can see this is our property and let's set this column to two so this is okay perfect so on the left hand panel we want to add a filter so that we can filter our property by let's say by rooms or the size so how we can do that that's very easy let's go to the search filter add a new search filter form let's name it a elementor filter perfect so for our search post type we need to set it to property the post we are using so if you are using the default post that will be the posts this one or if you use any custom post type that will show in here so in my case that will be properties and I want to show six result per page okay let's save this so now if we go to the search and filter pro documentation as we can see there is a nice little documentation how we can use it in elementor okay so first of all we need to use this short code and then this one so how we can use this short code so let's go to our page on the left hand panel we need to show our form the filter form so let's add a short code with it in here and for this one let's copy this one so this short code the second one you can get it from here so let's add this one and paste it in here perfect so our id name is 198 and for the second one or the bigger one so this one we need to add is just above our post so just directly above our post so in our case let's add a text editor that will be helpful and go to this text mode and let's copy paste this one and paste it in here so for this id we need to set change it to our form id so that is 198 so let's replace this one perfect and if you want to use the ajax search form we need to copy paste this jquery code so let's copy this one and you can insert it in your javascript editor in, but in my case I am just using it just after the our form so let's add a script tag in here and inside our script tag let's copy paste this one let's save and as you can see nothing is showing in here because we haven't created any form so let's add a search form for testing purpose this one let's save uh, let's check if it is working so the form is now showing in here so let's search for maybe san this one san as you can see this is showing like this but rather than in other page i want to show this filter result just where our post was so let's copy this url of our post page so and go to this display result page for this custom post let's go to this custom from this display result method and we want to paste our url in here so all of our result will show in this url and for the ajax yes we want to show the result in ajax if you go our search and filter documentation you can see if you want to set this 
search result in ajax we have to set this ajax container to this one for elementor so elementor wizard posts so let's copy and paste in here and for the pagination we need to copy elementor pagination a this is only for elementor let's save and let's check let's search for san as you can see it is now working perfectly so it, the result is showing on this exact page and the ajax is also working perfect so let's make another field where you can search or filter by number of rooms so how we can do that that is also very easy we have to choose this post meta drop in here for this post meta we want to show it as a checkbox so go to this choice tab and input type let's select checkbox you can also select ready or multi select as well or drop down so in our case choose checkbox and for the meta key we have to select our meta that we have created with SEF or advanced custom fields if we go to our advanced custom fields for the property as you can see for this number of rooms we have the meta key number of rooms so you have to choose this from here number of rooms perfect and as this is a advanced custom fields we have to check this one is cf field perfect and let's save it and let's check our page as you can see our filter is now showing so let's choose by four as you can see the property has only four rooms is now showing same for the 10 perfect you can also add a submit button if you want so how you can add this as you can see there is a submit button in here so drag it and drop it in here you can add the text and the heading so let's save this as you can see this submit button is now showing so this is a quick overview of our search and filter plugin i think the best one for wordpress in my opinion so if you like my video please like the video and don't forget to subscribe and also in the comment section please give me hint which tutorial you want in future.